hereby express the intent to celebrate Mass and consecrate the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the rites of the Holy Catholic Church. To the praise of Almighty God and the entire Church triumphant, my own benefit and that of all the whole Church militant, all commended themselves to my prayers generally, and particularly for the health and prosperity of the Holy Catholic Church. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us joy, peace, and amendment of life, a time for genuine repentance, the grace and consolation of His Holy Spirit, and perseverance in all good works. Amen.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God. Amen. <coughs> Our help is in the name of the Lord. Bless me, heaven and earth. I confess, God Amen. Almighty, bless the Mary of the Virgin, bless the Lord of the Archangel, bless the John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle, Peter and Paul, all the saints and the brethren, I have sinned to see you to God for his deed. By my fault, by my own fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I make blessed Mary ever virgin, and blessed Mike the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, all the saints and you, brethren, pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful, merciful Lord grant us his pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Well done, now turn again and quicken us, O oh God. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, in whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Right here are thy friends unto me, O God, and held in highest honor, their rule and governance is exceeding steadfast. O Lord, thou hast searched me out and known me. Thou knowest my downsitting and mine uprising. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, and now and ever shall be. Right here are thy friends unto me, O God, and held in highest honor, their rule and governance is exceeding steadfast. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee with our great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only art Christ with the Holy Ghost, our most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with my spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has built thy church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the head cornerstone, grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their doctrine, that we may be, we may be made an holy temple acceptable unto thee, through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. A lesson from the epistle of Blessed Jude the Apostle. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called, mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath preserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Here ended the epistle. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thou shalt make them princes in all lands, they shall remember thy name, O Lord. Instead of thy fathers, thou shalt have children. Therefore shall the people give thanks unto thee. Alleluia, alleluia. Right here are thy friends unto me, O God, and held in highest honor. Their rule and governance is exceeding steadfast. 
Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father and Almighty. And receive this sacrifice which I have celebration for every day. Cover my sins and of all of the church. Amen. Let us pray. We seek to you, O Lord, that we venerate the everlasting glory of thy holy apostle Simon and Jude. So being cleansed by these sacred mysteries, we may be more we may more worthily celebrate the saints. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up on the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right, so to do. It is very meet and right in our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. And humbly we beseech thee that thou, O Lord, eternal shepherd, will never desert thy flock, but that through thy blessed apostles thou will keep it under thy continual protection. That it may be governed by those rulers whom, in thy stead, thou settest over thy work as shepherds of thy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the highest. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostles sought us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we only beseech thee most mercifully to receive these our oblations which we offer unto thy divine majesty. Beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. Be graceful, so, Heavenly Father, to Shane, our primate, to Stephen, our bishop, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and right to the end, duly administer thy holy sacraments. We beseech thee also to save and defend this our country, and grant to Donald, the President of the United States, and all others in civil authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. And we beseech thee so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we commend unto thy merciful goodness this congregation which is here assembled in thy name to celebrate the commemoration of the most glorious death and resurrection of thy Holy Son. And here we do give unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints from the beginning of the world and chiefly in the glory of the most blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, and in the holy patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, whose examples, O Lord, and steadfastness in thy faith, and in keeping thy holy commandments, grant us to follow. We command unto thy mercy, O Lord, all other thy servants, who are departed hence from us with a sign of faith, and now do rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshment, a light, and a peace. And about to grant unto us some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, and with all thy saints, within whose company we beseech thee to admit us. Therefore, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself on offered. A full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. He receives you to hear us, O merciful Father, and with thy Holy Spirit and word, God say to bless and sanctify these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. When the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had blessed and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, 
This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <coughs> Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same, entirely desiring thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching me to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and a living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that whosoever shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with thy Son, Jesus Christ, that he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, and command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels, to be brought up into thy holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Now, as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all evils, past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with that of thy blessed apostles, Peter, and Paul, and Andrew, and Simon, and Jude, and Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, that by the help of thy mercy we ever be kept free from sin, and safe from all disquiet. <clears throat> to the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit liveth the reign of God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. And your consecration by your Lord, Jesus Christ. May also partake thereof in the life of the Lord. Amen. O Lamb of God, that, that takes away, away the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy hand of all the great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs on thy table, for thou art the same Lord, and probably is, always in mercy. Grant us, therefore, our gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls are washed with the most precious blood. And we'll be able to mark off in him and in us. Amen. See the bread and the golf.
Lady of God should come under my roof, if I speak the word only, my soul shall be healed. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the doubt that's about safe to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, for the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and thus assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of this most precious death and baptism. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in a holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee, the Holy Ghost, be our honor and glory, the world without end. Amen. <clears throat> ye which have followed me shall sit upon thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, who has bestowed on us this holy sacrament, we humbly pray thee that at the intercession of my blessed apostle Simon and Jude, the mysteries which we celebrate in remembrance of their glorious passion may be profitable for the healing of our souls. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever, one God, world without end. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Depart in peace. Thanks be to God.